just walking. It was like at night and all she heard was like, watch out. And there were like people on the tree and it just fell down on her. Yes, sir. And we back with another one. Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. It's a milkman and I'm back. This time I brought two friends with me. These little white cakes I'm about to dive right into while y'all watch this next video with Sarah. She's at McMaster University and she's about to tell us about how her friend almost kicked the bucket. So whether you go to McMaster, whether you go to another college, another campus, another university, stay tuned. It's always good to hear how your fellow students are living their lives day to day. And look, if you want to hear about a story that I went through that's similar to this, stay tuned and I'll fill you in. But in the meantime, in between time, check it out. I'm Sirith, and I'm a first year student in the humanities program at Math. Awesome. On a scale of one to 10, how hard is your program? I would say probably like a four because I really enjoy the content. You know, it's important to study what you like, so. Yeah. I, I really enjoy it, so I wouldn't say it's too difficult. Cool, awesome. How's the food here in Hamilton on campus? <laughs> I've tried some stuff from Centro. It's pretty bad. Uh, I make most of my food at home, but the first week I was here, I was like, oh, I want to try out Centro. I got like the shawarma wrap because like I really like shawarma, but I was wearing this exact hoodie and it literally like dripped oil down my arm and there was a big oil splotch on my sweater. Uh, yeah. Any crazy or wild stories? Uh, just Hoko Day. That was really crazy. Uh, yeah, a tree fell on my roommate. Like, actually fell on her. Like, her face got bruised and everything. She had to go to the hospital. So, yeah, you should keep yourself safe in those kinds of situations and be aware of your surroundings. Can you tell me about that? Like, how did that happen? You're just walking the street and all of a sudden it just... Legit. Yeah, she was just walking. It was like at night and all she heard was like watch out and there were like people on the tree and it just fell down on her and she she went to a nearby police officer she was like crying like hysterical it was a female police officer and she told her i need help and the female police officer walked away from her wow yeah um, did it fall because of the amount of people that was on the tree <laughs> it was like a medium-sized tree it wasn't even a large tree to be able to hold up that many people, so I'm guessing that's why it came down. Right, wow. Um, do you have any stressful stories? Oh, like right now, it really gets tough in like the middle of November, especially for humanities students, because uh, your essays and stuff start to pile up, and yeah, it's just a lot of writing and reading, and you need to make sure you keep up with it, otherwise you're pretty much like fucked, yeah. Yo! Not only did her friend have to go to the hospital because the students were playing Donkey Kong in the tree, but the police officer didn't even want to help her. And let me tell you guys, I got experiences like that too. Yo, one time at Carabana, if you're not familiar with Carabana, it's like a major parade in Toronto that happens in August. So the Friday night before, they had something before called Young Street. We're walking along Young Street. I'm by Dundas Square and there's a whole slew of people. You could tell they were up to no good, right? I'm walking through Dundas Square. I say to myself, something doesn't feel right. There was like a negative energy in the air. Two twos, all you hear is bop, 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 bop. Gunshots flying through the air. Yo, I book it like Roadrunner. I'm running so fast, I felt like Sonic the Hedgehog. Everything around me is going in slow motion. I'm running, I'm running. I look to my left. Tell me why I see a police officer running right beside me. In my mind, I'm saying to myself, hold on a sec. Why are you running away from the gunshots? You're an officer. You should be running towards the gunshots to see where they're coming from. And I said to myself, you know what? There are people just like us. They ain't trying to get caught up in the mix. Yo, they're trying to save themselves, not trying to save us. So, yo, that police officer that walked away from her friend, she's probably like, I ain't trying to do any more paperwork tonight. This is lit already. This is crazy. I'm just trying to punch in and punch out. But anyways, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this scenario. It's a good thing her friend is okay. She had a little bit of a bruise, but let me know what, let me know how you guys experienced Hoko this year, or if you have any other crazy stories. In the meantime, in between time, you already know what time it is. It's a milk, man, and I'm back, baby. I'm probably gonna drop a next video soon, soon so stay tuned, and we out. Easy, fam.